Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and it's time for an epic, epic unboxing. So, got this huge box right here, courtesy of Target. All right. But, open it up. Holy crap. That, yeah, that was a big box. But what we've got is this, y'all. Check it out. Beyblade Burst Quad Strike unboxing. So, Beyblade Burst Quad Strike Thunder Edge Battle Set. So, the first uh, Quad Strike set, you know. At this point, we know uh, the Hasbro base, switching up the gimmicks and such compared to TT, but, you know, doing things in their own way. I am excited for the show. Hopefully, I do some justice with the show. And, uh, yeah, man. And overall, I am hyped to see how this uh, stadium is because I really do like Hasbro stadiums, how they switch up things in a major way. But, yeah. So, with this... We got two bays, so we've got uh, Divine Belly. I'm pretty sure it's still called Divine. Uh, well, Divine Bellfire. And also, uh, Lightning Pandora. So, we get the debut of a new character with this season. It's called, uh, their name's Quadra. Her name is Quadra. We have a female protagonist with this. So, I'm giving a major props because they did something that makes history. Like, in general, Beyblade history, having a female protagonist. It's really, really awesome seeing that, man. So, yeah, major, major props to me for that. So, um, yeah, man. Got the artwork in the front looking really, really dope. And, you know, 4 and one the gimmicks that they all that they all put out for Quad Strike. But, uh, yeah, we got to see what parts it comes with. Like, is that, what, is that disc, like, Infinity? It looks like if Infinity got, like, a DB or BU version. So, that's pretty uh, cool. But... Uh, yeah, so it comes with the launchers, the stadium, the base, of course, gotta check out the back. I'll look on the side, so, two different modes. Yep, Lightning Pandora Endless, and Divine Evo Bellfire. So, you know, Divine Bellfire. But, um, yeah, so with this stadium, they're saying it has four quad zones. So, having one area down there, one up at the top, and then the two on the different sides. And then also, uh, the ramps on the outside, so, overall... It's going to make battles really, really unpredictable. Like, just having that unpredictable shape, um, you know, not being symmetrical. Like, the way the bays move, it's going to completely switch up with it. And I'm honestly excited to see how bays perform in this stadium. But, uh, yeah. So, they're saying 14 attack, 3 burst. Uh, yeah, 3 burst, 4 defense, 8 weight, 6 agility, 2 stamina for Bellfire. And then they're saying uh, Pandora is a stamina type. Definitely not surprised because lightning being really round. The shape of it, I don't know, reminds me of, like, Oric Alchem a bit, but, um, yeah. So, they're saying 4 attack, 1 burst, 4 defense, 8 weight, 10 agility, and 12 for stamina. They're saying this thing has insane stamina, so, yeah. So, I guess without further ado, let's get into this set. Alright, so, get that tape out of the way. Get it in. Get the cardboard out of the way. Getting into it. Pop, there we go. Is that? Yeah, okay. It's all in the stadium. Well, that's convenient. So, get that. And then all the pegs and everything, which I'll, you know, assemble. I'll probably do that off, off screen, getting into the stadium. But, uh, yeah, yeah. And, okay. So, the parts for Pandora I'll put over here. And the parts for Bellfire I'll put over there. But yeah, first of all, um, don't worry about the record. Launchers, we have seen those before. But first of all, getting into the stadium itself. Like I said, overall, I enjoy Hasbro stadiums, like, how they switch things up so much. We've seen a lot of diverse stadiums with Burst, and that's one thing I definitely appreciate. And, even, and this stadium is no different. Reminds me of, like, the Hypersphere Stadium. That's like the eight bowl kind of shape, like the skateboarding eight bowl kind of shape with it. Except on this side, uh, you know, being round down here, having a small little point up here, then the two points on each side, and then also the flat ridges on the outside. But it'll make it where, like, bays won't get too stuck on them, if so, for, like, a little bit of time. And then they'll shoot right back in. And it being, like, such an unpredictable shape, imagine a bay, like, shooting back in right here. And But, uh, yeah, so basically with this... There's not going to be any KOs with this, because just how the pockets are, they're really, really small, and I highly doubt any bays are going to get stuck in there. Maybe I could be wrong, but just there being really, really small pockets in this, maybe this is a stadium where there's no, like, ring outs, and if so, it's going to make the battles so intense, full-power battles, 
Maybe we'll see some KOs where Bay gets just like yeeted over the top or something. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Bellfire right there. And Pandora right there. So first things first, getting in the stadium. Going to completely assemble it now. So there we go. I guess the what? The Thunder Edge Battle Stadium? It's technically called. But um, yeah, dude. Overall looking really, really dope. Anybody wants to code for it? Like, get it. Let's see if I can zoom in. Uh, there it is. And yeah, man. So overall, like I said, loving the different shapes and such that they have, like the diversity with the Hasbro stadiums. That's one thing I really, really appreciate is just uh, the true diversity in the stadiums. Like this is gonna be a really fun stadium uh, to battle in, as long as I don't burp. <laughs> but um, yeah, dude. And overall, I like the color they use for it, like kind of like a darker cyan kind of blue. Looks really, really nice. And then having uh. You know, the barrier on the outside. You see the zigzags on the outside. As well as the design right there. Uh, yeah, it's looking really, really cool. So now, we got to get into it. That being the bays, of course. So I guess the first one we're going to get into is uh, Bellfire. So, Divine Evo, Bellfire. A.K.A. Divine, you know, Bellfire. So overall, kind of similar look to TT's. Except, like, the shape of it, it's a bit... It looks like it's a bit off for the core. Like, a little bit off-center compared to, like, the regular version. But, uh, yeah, overall, similar colors same shape except switched up of course because not having any metal in it for those points and divine under tt wasn't the craziest bay being real um the gears did help it out like with the weight and such and its attack but just like stock wise wasn't the craziest so um yeah remains to be seen how this bellfire does but hasbro's metal is completely uh switched up and such compared to tt's but there is the code for anybody who wants it and uh yeah man so the layer weight, which, you know, shaped like three. I don't think these really matter because not having that much weight with them or such. Just being real. Uh, the yellow on the outside, which they would have put in a little bit more detail with, like, the paint. You know, like, with the core, it's not too, too bad. They actually filled in, like, quite a bit of the detail uh, with it. Which they would put, like, a little bit more paint on the outside and even for those points right there. But, yeah, still. Um, then we got the disc, which is, uh, it's like the one that comes on on uh Valtriac, like uh savior Valtriac, which i'm surprised they couldn't even just like use nexus again you know dropped it but yeah i wonder why they like switched that up it's not the craziest disc like it's hollowed out big time but uh yeah got those two points right there and then we got the performance tip or driver which the bottom part is like adventure uh the shape of it but just so so wide it's like if they they took the gimmicks it's like they took the gimmicks from all the different seasons to put them together like slingshot uh, hypersphere and such it's like hypersphere except with more detail and then like speedstorm kind of with it because we're seeing like the speedstorm type of tips but yeah it's being like kind of their adventure this thing's really freaking wide too reminds me of a gear so i might scrape against the stadium and prevent a stadium out or something but yeah overall it's really really a huge uh attachment then the inside ooh, it's like moment and it's not i'm gonna give props because it's not flattened you know so that is round so it should be pretty fun to use it uh with that attachment but yeah so anyways here it is uh divine evo bellfire and the slopes it's oh it's got some pretty it's got some pretty good slopes with it so um yeah man overall it's what it looks like with like a thick old bay just not having that much weight with the disc or anything but um yeah you know divine evo bellfire and then we've got this bay lightning pandora endless new to this season you already know quadras bay uh new protagonist with this overall loving the round shape for it like lightning this thing's really freaking round like i wish they would make a pro series version for this because imagine how defensive this thing would be having that super round shape with it and then the pandora mo uh, motif in the center overall looking pretty freaking dope like, love just that spiral design right there. The purple and the orange with it. Having the orange on the outside as well. Reminds me of Oracalcum, probably because of these, like, dots on the side and just the overall round shape of it. But, yeah, it does look really, really sick. Hollowed out underneath. But, like, like I said, I'm, <laughs> I might try to find a, another one in the future. You already know to do a mod because, like, her being a protagonist. Like, I, you know, uh, how they just did Ifritor or Ifrit. I had to mod it and make it, like, TT level just to pay your specs and... Yeah, man, it won't feel right leaving, like, Quadra out of things. But, yeah, anybody who wants the code, there it is. And, uh, 
yeah, overall looking really sick. And I mean, a Pandora has some pretty good slopes with it. Maybe this thing could be defensive because that round shape of it. And then the disc, which I'm not sure the name of it. All I know is it's definitely like an homage to Infinity. Because look at that, man. It's got a similar design to Infinity right there. And honestly, overall, it looks really, really cool. Having those points right there with the airflow. Hopefully, this will be pretty decent for uh, some stamina and such. I mean, I know not like the craziest weight with Hasbro's uh, discs, but like the overall shape of this, it's really round. So, yeah. Maybe it could have some use for like stamina or such. And then we got the performance tip or driver. Um, not sure the technical name for it, but it reminds me, this kind of reminds me of just being real. Um, the sharp kind of tip and the overall like shape of it on the outside, you know, with this ring. But uh, yeah, then we got the inside part, which that's like a fusion attachment. Um, it's definitely gonna be better with this attachment on the outside. You know, circling around big time, I don't think it's going to help out Pandora too much. Try to go for a push attack, but uh, yeah. But anyways, Lightning, Pandora, Endless, if I can get it together. There we go. But Lightning, Pandora, uh, Endless, and the attachment. Ooh, you want to you wanna go off? You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? All right, try this one more time. There we go. Lightning Pandora, endless. But yeah, this tip definitely just seems like it's gonna be too sharp. It's gonna have like the just effect with it. Uh, or if it gets thrown off balance, it's not gonna be uh, too wild. But yeah, man, overall, it does look really, really cool. And just in general, having a female protagonist before things end off, like I'm giving props to Asbro for that regardless. I think that's really, really cool. But um, yeah, so uh, next up, we gotta do the comparison, man. But Divine Evo Bellfire, Divine Balio. Uh, a bit of a switch up, you know, like the shape. They definitely like twisted it a bit. You could tell by the, the shape overall. And color wise, very, very accurate. Part wise, obviously a switch up and such. And, uh, you know, taking a weight from the disc and not having to layer weight or anything. But uh, yeah, man. Overall, we got to see how uh, it does. You know, we got to do a comparison. We got to. Most people might say, like, oh, it's not fair. We got to compare the brands, man. Like, you, you got to, you know. You got to see the OG compared to, uh, compared to the new version. But, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Maybe. <laughs> oh, Bellfire getting knocked around a bit. Maybe you could take it. And, nope. All right. So, the weight difference is being too much. And, plus, like, uh, Bellio having the burst stopper with it. But, I'll do one more battle with it. And then I'll switch the attack, man. And ooh, those hits. It's getting some nice attacks though, using the ribs, but it does get bursted, man. That was even against the original Divine. Well, for what it's worth, it did uh, take clicks away from Divine Belial. So definitely giving props for that. But yeah, gonna use the uh, other attachment. Let's see if that helps it out. Ooh, being really aggressive. Well, maybe stamina wise, it might be able to take it this way. Maybe, or is the weight difference just too much? Even having that tip. Yeah, man, just the weight being too, like the weight change is being uh, too much. So even having like the stamina of that moment, kind of driver doesn't help out too much. And those hits, man, major hits. And all oh, gets the burst. Well, got our answer with that one. All right, now we got to see how Pandora and Balio do. Or Bellfire. Pandora versus Bellfire, man. Pandora's gonna definitely be the one that's more pumped. Ooh, yo, what? Yo, look at Pandora tanking those attacks, bruh. Ooh. Okay. So you ain't playing. You ain't playing. It's hard to even, like, budget this thing. Look at the defense of Pandora. That round shape, dude. This is just making me want to, like find one to mod that much more i'm glad i think they have like a a pack with like pandora right because there's different versions of it there's gonna be different versions of it all right so i'm definitely trying to find that pack because yeah like the fact that it's doing this well like stock wise like i'm i'm kind of impressed I really am with like that defense right there. It's just shutting down attacks in a major way. It's like, nope. Doesn't matter what you hit me with. It will be blocked. All those hits, man. 
Yeah, they're shutting down those attacks at Bellfire. Yo, Pandora. Okay. Well, that that was awesome. <laughs> that was really, really sick. Maybe I slept on this thing too much, you know, just because like how the driver is. But, I mean, overall, just the shape of it has me worried. Like, stamina and LAD-wise, like, even how it would be. Like, it seems like it's pretty, pretty decent for the stamina, at least. Um, and Pandora in general, like, being defensive and having some pretty good stamina with it. I mean, Bell Bellfire was hardly budging it, so. Yeah, but overall, would I recommend picking up this set if you're a collector? Uh, yeah, if you're going for, like, full quality and such, I mean, it is the way to get Pandora. If you want to wait, then you can, like, get the, the four-pack and such if you're just looking for, like, the exclusives and such. But I dig the stadium, you know. We know the switches that they made with the bays, so it is what it is. But just seeing another exclusive, like, this Pandora is really, really awesome, man. And seeing a female protagonist is really, really hype. One of the things that makes me really, really excited for the season, seeing them switch that up. And hopefully they do some good storytelling with the show, at least. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Beyblade Burst Quad Strike Thunder Edge Battle set. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Till then, stay awesome and let it rip. I'm up out of here.